On this episode, you fired nine questions this way, I'll fire nine answers right away at you. Hello everyone, I'm Dr. Alvarez with endobariatric.com and welcome to episode 150 of the Ask Dr. A Show. On this episode, we got quite a bit of questions this way. I'm gonna fire those answers right away at you. Uh, if you wanna send me your questions, you can do so using the hashtag Ask Dr. A throughout social media and of course through my personal Instagram account that we have a lot of fun with and you can always touch base with me since I'm the one managing that. Uh, that platform, and uh, well, let's jump into the questions. Is it okay to incorporate bulletproof coffee as a way to help lose weight after surgery? All right, this is a really good one. Bulletproof coffee, white tea, red tea for weight loss, this magic potion for weight loss, this other protein shaker, this other shake for weight loss. Come on, people. Don't look for a magic potion for weight loss. You really know, you, you do know what you need to do for weight loss. Count your calories, watch your carbs, your exercise, do your homework, all right? This magic potion will not get you there. You will get your, yourself there, you gotta work at it. So this along with your sleeve, a lot of change, a lot of help, a lot of advantages, but you, do, you have to do your part, okay? So don't look at those magic potions. I have been in a stall for eight months. What could be the reason? Back again, if you have a, this stall and you haven't lost enough weight, there's a lot of factors. I mean, maybe you're at a stall, maybe you're at a goal weight already, you wanna lose a little bit more. You're at a normal weight and you say that since January to, to this day, you haven't lost any, any weight. Analyze, people analyze. If you haven't downloaded your app, download your app, watch your carbs, watch your intake, Watch your macros. I mean, you gotta analyze what you're doing. I can't analyze this from from this side of the camera. If you just tell me, I haven't lost any weight since January. What? Can, why? Come on. Are you kidding me? You need to do your homework. Okay. Can we wear a sweat waist trainer during workout? Yes, you can. You may uh, use those binders. Uh, I would suggest you wait at least 15, 30 days after your surgery. Um, actually, you won't be able to do very intense exercise prior to those, to those 30 days. So after those 30 days, go ahead and do so. Is it safe to take a laxative daily with a sleeve if you have trouble with bowel movements? Yes, if you suffer from constipation, a soft uh, a, a stool softener uh, may work. Uh, some uh, extra fiber, Metamucil, safe to take, no problem there. I have been at a stall in weight loss in my second week. Isn't it too early for a stall? Come on, people, are you kidding me? Two weeks out, you feel you've got a stall. Body takes time to adjust. What you're doing here is a long-term process. Your body will have several stalls throughout the day, I mean, throughout the journey. Come on, patience there. It could be five days out from surgery, you had a stall. It could be a week, it could be two weeks, it could be seven weeks out. You gotta listen, analyze, and watch what you're doing. Patience. Since losing weight, I have flabby eyelids. What can we do about that? Talk to a plastic surgeon. He's a, He's the one who can help you out with that. What are the chances of losing the big boobs after surgery? Talk to a plastic surgeon as well, all right? So uh, remember that where you have the most uh, stored fat, that's where it come, will come off the most. If it's the hips, if it's the abdominal area, I mean, your body will grab those uh, stored uh, fat cells the, for calories, for energy. So if you, if you have, I mean, big boobs have uh, fat tissue as well. So I really don't know your body complexion, but if you do get it, they can get fixed. It's way better to be thin than obese with big boobs because obesity will kill you. And some, the, those boobs, the results down the road won't kill you. I did CrossFit prior to surgery, but now I'm unsure to rejoin. Any tips? Good, uh, you like CrossFit. Uh, if you're out from 
30 days out, you can return CrossFit. I would just suggest, recommend you go slow, talk to your trainer, uh, tell him, her, you just had surgery 30 days ago, so they can go easy on you and uh, enjoy what you do. That's the most important thing. Enjoy what you do. If you enjoy CrossFit, go ahead. Enjoy going to the gym, go ahead. Enjoy swimming, cycling, go ahead. As long as you enjoy it, you will stick to it. Will it be a problem if I don't lose enough weight on my pre-op diet? Well, the idea is for you to lose some weight. The idea is for you to lose five to 10% of your current starting weight. So the diet is intended for you to lose some weight for a surgery. All right, so that's it for episode 150 of the Ask Dr. A Show. Hey, listen, this year's annual patient reunion, Memphis, Tennessee, we have a blast. Last year was a blast, same location. We're going back to Graceland, all right? We're going back to Elvis Presley. We're going back to, to Memphis with, uh, uh, I mean, we had a blast. You gotta, you gotta be there. I mean, it's free, dinner, motivational speakers. I do uh, one or two keynotes. Uh, We've, we're, bringing in, we're bringing in plastic surgeons, we're bringing in motivation. I mean, it's, it's a raffles, gifts, win, win, win situation, all right? So more information on the link and uh, well, send me your questions for the next episode. Did you enjoy this format? I did. I mean, questions, questions, answers, answers, and uh, hashtag Ask Dr. A through my Instagram account. Uh, say hello on my Instagram, I'll say hello back, all right? I'm Dr. Alvarez with endobariatric.com where we are changing lives one sleeve at a time. Take care and God bless.